In about half an hour, I'm going to feed my family some lovely homemade fish cakes. Crispy on the outside and golden, flakes of beautiful smoked haddock in there. We're going to start with the actual sauce. So I'm going to put one white onion, just roughly chopped up, straight into that pan, and we'll start sweating that off just for about 10 minutes. Once you've softened off these onions, I'm going to use a little bit of flour, one heaped tablespoon, mix that in to the onions. You can see the onions have taken on a little bit of colour. And then I'm going to go in with 600 millilitres of lovely organic milk. So this will be the basis of your sauce. And not only that, that will become the place where you poach this beautiful side of smoked haddock. So this goes into that liquor, skin side down, and let that just poach away for five minutes. So here we've got a kilo of Maris Pipers just peeled, boiled for like 12, 13 minutes until they're tender, and then drain, let it steam off. And that's really important because we want the potatoes to be dry. Then it's going to hold on to the flakes of the fish. That's what you'll get from a good old Maris Piper. Just take a regular potato masher. You don't want it to be super smooth. And then make a little well in the middle. Crack one beautiful free-range egg. It holds the whole thing together. And just whisk that up like that. Take that lovely fish. Oh, look how it's flaking. Over there like that. Now I'm just going to take the skin and just ease it off. But look at the nice big chunks. Look at that. That's what it's all about. And then last but not least, a nice bunch of chives. You can use parsley, you can use basil. I personally think chives are really perfect in this because they're really mild. And then just fold it all up. It's all about keeping as much of the texture of the fish as possible. But there's still big chunks of fish in there. So get that into eight little balls, give or take. Let's wash my hands. So look, a little bit of moisture from your hands is going to help you make these lovely little patties. Now, if you wanted to, you can roast these just like that. You can grill these under the grill. You can do these in a pan. Now, let's make the sauce first. A nice bunch of chives straight in to this lovely milk. So what I want to do now is use the liquidizer. If I'm lucky, I can pour that into here and not splash it everywhere, but that's always debatable. Let's put a few spoons in first. So let's whiz this up until nice and fine. Look at that. That is the most amazing colour. Mmm. Wow. Get yourself a large non-stick pan. Get that warm. A nice lug of olive oil in there. Get your fish cakes. Let's place them in the pan. Be delicate with them. You don't want to break them up. Let the oil just move around the pan and keep them jiggling a little bit. Let's turn these around. Look at that golden sizzling colour. Wow. About four or five minutes on each side. It's just a thing of beauty. Get that lovely sauce back in a pan to reheat it. Garnish this with some chives. Let's plate one up. I'm going to have a little cheeky taster. Take that nice big fat fish cake like that. I've got a little chive flour that I'll just sprinkle over the top. A kiss of olive oil, wedge of lemon, and that is a beautiful homemade fish cake. Let's get amongst it. Let's have a squeeze up. Lemon juice, bosh. Nick a bit of that sauce. Look at that. Come on. Oh, man. Right, who's the greediest person in the family? Me! Petra, give me your plate, sweet pea. I've given you two little ones because you're special. Oh. Well, this is nice. Do you like the sauce? That's, yeah. 